Hey there guys and welcome to the channel. Now we are already at the end of the month and it is time for another top 11 units in Brave Frontier. Let's start with number 11. At number 11 we have Lance. Last month he didn't make it because I did not see a lot of him being used but now he has proven himself to be really really annoying. Especially in Colosseum. If you do your Colosseum now, you will see like 90% of lances in it. Coupled with some Hysterios, some Phoenixes, some Ophelias, he is a really scary lead. Especially on defense. And if you bring him to Trials or Quest or Grand Quest or Grand Kaya Chronicles, uh, this guy is also really useful because he is a free Tridon. He has a shield buff on his SBD and he also can cure status ailments and other things. And if you bring him for raids, he also had a negate attack and defense down buff on himself. So he is really useful. And he can actually be really versatile by his enhancements, depending on what you need him for. And now number 10. At number 10, we have the Queen of Trolls on Colosseum especially, uh, Juno Seto. She has Mitigation, she has Heal Over Time, she has Barrier, and her leader skill is really, really trollish for Colosseum. I really think you guys know what I'm talking about. The Undying Troll Team, and she can also revive your dead unit. That is really, really annoying. And the good news is, she will be getting her on me by the end of next month. Don't tell anybody, but I'm really excited. And now number 9. We have Atro at number 9. Well, he is a free unit. Yep, one of the free starter units. But he is really, really good right now because he has the attack defense recovery buff, which is the highest in-game currently at 150%. And if you're doing imps, he is your guy, he can do a turn 1 BB. So if you bring him for imps, expect to do it a lot of times in a minimum amount of time. He can also boost your BC gauge, fill rate, and also your OT gauge. And his UBB will give you 6 elements and other nasties, so he's good. And also his enhancements make this guy really really good since you can take the um, BB fill when attacked and also the unique for now normal attacks will become AOE and all the effects at the end of the turn will prop at the start of the turn he can also be your healer if you decide to take his enhancements and if you don't really have a cure status ailments unit he can be that one too but I don't think you really need to but overall this guy is really really good especially as a free unit and now at number eight this guy jumped from his 11th position last month he's now at number eight we have Magress. I kind of underestimated this guy last month but now he has proven to be the best mitigator in the current meta he has a two turns mitigation which is proven to be useful for everything well, maybe not questing since you don't really need that, but for extra trials, extra, I mean extra dungeons, trials, grand quest, vortexes, anything, L gift dungeon, raids, everything. This guy is my current mitigator that I bring anywhere. And he also has a defense buff on his BB, which is really, really nice. He has a free unit, but his status is really really high especially his defense and HP I didn't even put an L gift on him but he is still the most tanky character that I currently have if you guys have this guy raise him immediately because he will be your best friend for everything on top of that he is free free unit and now at number seven we have Nyami she is only a 7 stars unit, but I gotta tell you, 
save all your puddings away. Keep it away from this girl, because if you bring it out, she will nuke you down to zero in a flash. And you will not see it coming because she has stealth. The best thing about her is she is currently the best nuker at the moment, by the way. Um, she will self spark even when nobody is attacking with her. So she alone will be a self sparker. And that is the first ever in this game. Japan or global or Europe. Whatever. Did I say cute? Maybe I did. And now at number 6 we have Selena. Yes, she is I think one of the best free unit ever. Free unit. She has PC buff, she has Heart Crystal Drops buff as well. She has HOT, she has heal, she has heal when attacked. And not to mention Angel Idol extra skill. You will see this girl in every arena squad or Colosseum squad. And even for questing, trials, vortexes, grand quest, whatever, I think we all will bring her for anything. And last thing I forgot to mention that she has BB regen each turn. So Selena in a whole package is really, really good. She is a free unit but she will last really, really long even after new omnis in a few months comes she will still be used in everything anything a lot of things and at number five we have Elanon I don't really see a lot of people still using him well maybe still many but he does not shine like he used to be he still have the whole package in a single unit so I think he still belongs on the top list here so he has Heal, BB fill when attack, extra max HP, 6 elemental buffs, elemental weakness buff, and his UBB is something different than mitigation but it will make you really really tanky. So even though he goes down on his rank, he still belongs here. Well that happens because there are two units that can fill his position right now. But both of them still lacks the elemental weakness buff so this guy is still good really good and now at number four we have coolio the red omni he has defense buff he can be your spark buffer he can be your healer he can also be your heal over time unit but the heal over time is really small so i do not really recommend you guys to take that one he will also boost your BC fill rate and if you put this guy as your lead, you will never need another status cure or anti-debuff unit because he has it all. Negate status ailments and remove all status ailments. Did I say he has barrier? A fire barrier? I think I did. But still, fire barrier. And it's really really good. His UBB will also give you 3 turns of 75% 75 mitigation for 3 turns. And also a 20k fire barrier which is really really good. His UBB will also boost your max HP by 30%. Or was it 25? Ah, anyways it's huge. Really, really huge. And as a bonus added he will also have a counter status ailments when at that. It's really good, his status are really really high and yeah, I almost use him for everything now. And now we're moving along to the top 3. At number 3, we have Fern. Yep, the newcomer in Global, the blue Sparker girl. I actually would rate her higher but her enhancement, her best one, which will give the best spark buff in the game currently. Sadly, it costs 60 SP and that is too high and that is the reason that I put her on the third position. Uh, her original spark buff is at 100% which is still high if you combine it with the leader skill which is 120 it, it will still be really really high. And her animation, it is really really easy to spark with her really really easy I'm telling you really easy 
and her leader skill will give you 50% HP and 50% attack. So it is good in terms of survival and attack. And it will also reduce the cost on your BD by 25% if you take the enhancement, which is the 20 skill points, which will also cut her BB cost. You will have an unlimited SPP unit. This girl. Yep. I kind of regretted not taking this one, so I might just reset her SP just to take this one later on if I did not get another Fern on my future summons. And the really good thing about her is that she has Water and Earth Elemental on her PP and SPB. And if you take the Enhancement, she will also have a Dark Element buff. So 3 buffs, 3 Elemental buffs in one go. And she also has a critical spark on her BB and SBB. On her SBB, she will also give an, the enemy a spark debuff. So she is a really good sparker unit. The whole package is all about spark. She also has the enhancement that will fill your BB gauge when sparking, which I really wanted to take, but it costs like 50 SP. So I gotta think twice or thrice about that but maybe yeah if I got another one I will make one into that now let's move along to our number two at number two we have Silas or Cyrus or Silas whatever you guys call him first his leader skill let me take a look at this 50% boost to attack max HP and hugely boost critical damage Critical damage hugely boosts BB gauge and consider considerably boosts OD gauge fill rate. Is that not good enough? That's really really good. And he also has a extra skill of raising his own BB attack. And those attack defense recovery reduction will not ever touch him. This guy is actually a crit and crit damage buffer. And a really good one at it. And his BB and SBB will add fire, thunder, elemental buffs on your attacks. And if you take the enhancements, you will also have the light elemental. So if you combine Silas and Fern, you will already have 6 elementals buff. That is why Alanon went down from his position. These two guys. And the best thing about him is that he is currently the best BB attack buffer. 400%? Yes, it's 400% in total if you take the enhancement. Wow. And if you take the enhancement, the defense buff, it is currently the highest as well. It's even higher than Kulyuk's uh, defense buff based on attack. And his conversion rate is 70% while Kuliuk's is only 40%. If I have another Silas, I will take this enhancement and I will make this guy my defense buffer. If you take the enhancement, he will also be your attack buffer at a really high rate which is 150%. But I'm not gonna take this one since our number one leader will have it all as well. And this guy will dish out a lot of damage really really huge and he will also go well along with our number one later his ubb is a really damage factor massive critical damage massive spark critical hit rate spark critical and 600 bb attack buff if you combine it with the enhancement it will be 700 And before we go into our number one, I would like to say to you guys the honorable mentions. Well, these guys are still at the top, but since I will only make this into a 11 top units, these guys did not make it. But I will not forget them since they are really, really good as well, even currently in this current meta. Okay, our first honorable mention is Lobbert. Yep. He is, a, he is still one of the best mitigator ever. As well as Lafiel. 
the second one is Fargas. Uh, if you don't have Silas, if you don't have any other BB attack buffer, this guy is one of the best BB attack modifier buffer. And on top of that, he is a free unit. The next one is Ensataya. Well, he is also a good, a really good BB attack buffer and for everything else. But since she is a limited and she is still not getting her on me yet. I will put her here in the honorable mention. And the next one, well, he really does deserve this or he even deserves to be on the top 11 actually. Uh, this guy is serious. Seriously deserving. And you know what guys? Very, very soon he will get his Omni Evolution. So yeah. Guess what's gonna happen next? The last one I would really like to put on the list is Kratz. Well, he recently got his Omni Evolution in Japan. Still a long way for us, but yeah. And lastly, but not least, Avant. Yeah, he is currently outclassed by everyone on the list, I think, but he still. I still see a lot of people using it for anything even Colosseum or arenas which is not really a good choice and recently he got his Omni Evolution in Japan and he is currently back at the top of the damage leader skills okay that's it that's it our honorable mention is done let's go to our number one this month I guess you guys guessed it already since yeah he is still the man of damage He's still at the top. He is AZ. First of all, his leader skills. It's one of the best leader skills in the game currently. Especially for Mono Thunder, but I don't really care. He's still useful. He has the best. One of the best. Well, the best spark damage buff in the game. And all his enhancements are all about damage as well. He also has a critical spark buff mm -hmm. and also attack buff which is at 150%. That is huge. And if you bring some more thunder units like Silas, Rize, Eldora, he will also pump up their damage even more higher because of the thunder elemental damage buff. Well, this guy is all about damage, but his UBB, I think his UBB is outclassed by Silas for now, but his UBB will still give you a lot of damage, and that is really, really good. Well, the reason I put him on the top here, because he is a free unit, and he, and all his abilities are insane for a free unit. Everybody will have him, and if you don't have him, he is kinda easily obtainable from the honor summon so yeah go ahead and get yours I did a few super honor summons yesterday and I already got two more of this PC guy and yeah I think that's all for our top 11 units this month I hope you guys enjoyed it like it if you like this video share it with your friends if you also want your friends to see the top 11 units of this month and also, if you're new to my channel, now is a really good time to subscribe to my channel. Just press the fun button over there on your bottom right. I guess that's all guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. See ya. Bye bye. Watcha!